our pastor back home, Bob Merritt, awesome, awesome man in a, a church in Eagle Brook Church in Minnesota. He challenges us. He's kind of old school. He's a little bit older than I am, maybe Billy's age. <laughs> Younger than you. So he challenges the church to, to write letters. He says, get out a pen and a paper and write a letter. The time and the effort and the love that that shows to other people transcends any, any words that you can put into a text or an email. And maybe you got to put it in an envelope and pay, I don't know what it is, 50 cents to mail it to somebody. 45 cents, Billy knows, he's counting his pennies. Um, and so on my way out, I was put on waivers. I, I, I wrote my teammates a letter and I put it on the, my change stall and cried my face off on the way out of the rink. And all of a sudden I was getting text messages and phone calls from my teammates, from other people that I hadn't talked to in a while heartfelt messages, messages of support and love. And I go, you know, I appreciated all those, and they were, they were emotional messages, but I go, why do we wait till the, something's over? Why do we wait till the end of, a, you know, your teammates leaving or till a parent's on a deathbed or a, a grandparent's on a deathbed or a coworker or a sister or brother or an old longtime friend? Why do we wait till that's over to send those messages, to write those letters? What if we wrote those letters right now? What, would we repair that relationship? Would we have that time together? Would we have that father figure, that mother figure back in your life, or that brother back in your life so that you could rekindle that and not have regrets when it's all over? Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, his, his father passed away real recently, and I saw an interview with him, and he said, I would, you know, The Rock, he does everything. He's, he's got all the, the personal accolades and the success, and he goes, I would do anything to just be with my dad one more time, to be able to tell him I loved him and say goodbye. And what if we didn't have that regret at the end? What if we, what if we sent those letters or we said those things now so that we didn't miss those opportunities?